One thing that we have learned over the past two years, 2020 and 2021, is that having a full-time job is probably not as dependable as we initially thought. In this particular video, I want to give you a few ideas of businesses that you can be able to start even if you have a full-time job or if you have been laid off, something that you can start doing. Let's get those credits rolling. The first business that you can get into is a consulting business. For so many professionals, you have a number of years of experience already where you are employed or where you used to be employed. This expertise you have been using to actually earn yourself a salary every single month. If you want to branch out and start your own practice, then consulting is usually the first place to go. You can actually act as a professional even to the organization that you used to work for. But this actually means that you get better hours and most of the time even better pay. The goodness with consulting gigs is that you can actually be able to pick up two, three clients and start earning twice or three times the money that you used to earn. As well, you can actually get into think tanks across the country or even across the continent where you offer your own expertise and get paid. For this kind of a business, make sure that you register the business either as a one-man company or as a sole proprietorship as you may see fit or as dictated by your profession. The second way that you can actually be able to create a business is by creation of content. As you know, many people have in the past two years started YouTube channels or started creating content on LinkedIn. In fact, as a personal opinion, everyone should have a place where they create content in the way that they feel comfortable. If you are good behind the camera, then you can actually begin a video production business. If you're good in front of the camera, you can start a YouTube channel or you can even use your phone to create content on platforms like TikTok or Instagram. These are good ways of actually getting the ball rolling on creation of a business. Many platforms these days actually pay their creators and even as you grow your influence, you will start collaborating with brands who will pay you to speak to your audience. These are good ways of you creating a side income so that even if you have a full-time job, you can still be able to do this in the evenings or on weekends, wherever you are not at work, you can actually be able to start creating a personal brand or something that actually helps other people. It can be a comedy channel, it can be an educational channel, it can be an entertainment channel. Whatever it is you are comfortable with, you can actually explore these things. Remember, Remember that you do not need to be an extrovert in order to start doing content online. Just make sure that you're sharing only what you are comfortable with at the pace that you're comfortable with without giving yourself any pressure or expectations about the kind of success that you're looking for. This can be a good way of even relieving stress that you get at work by creating something that you love, that's a hobby, that you are not putting a lot of time in. Number three is to sell courses. There's a good site that I discovered recently called Uscreen, and I'll actually place the link in the description below. On this particular platform, what you can actually do is you record a number of videos and then you place it up as a course which people can actually be able to pay for. You can charge them $49 or $99 or 199 whatever it is that you are charging, but then you have a place where you can be able to manage your classes, you can be able to add onto your courses as many courses as you want all in one place and this is a good way of you actually being able to monetize the skill that you have the passion that you have into something that is profitable for instance if you have a cooking channel or if you love teaching people how to cook or how to bake you can actually get onto the platform and create a course around how to be able 
to become a good cook from beginner to advanced. So you have a beginner class teaching people different things that they can be able to do to an advanced class where people are actually making different kind of cuisines that are international cuisines all being taught in one place in the class. The good thing with this platform as well is that you can actually be able to go live with your students every single week and it's a good platform because i am actually also creating a course there as well that will be out very very soon about crypto and later about youtube so that i can actually be able to take students step by step on the things that they need to learn in the crypto space number four business that you can start right now that you don't even need to leave your job for is online bookkeeping if you're an accountant this is a very good business to get into because essentially what it means is that businesses do not have employ an accountant in their business they can actually have you take a look at their books and help them in reconciliation as well the platform that i use for my accounting is called zoho and i'll place it in the description below so that you can be able to use it i use a free version which works adequately for me there is an advanced version that people pay per month i think it's three dollars a month that you can actually take up if you're an accountant you can use zoho books so that you can actually manage several businesses under one account this is a good way of you being able to create income every single month because these businesses actually pay you to make sure that their taxes are filed and paid on time their hr is handled their pay as you want is handled people are paid everything in their business all the math actually adds up and you can manage five ten businesses and even make much more than you'd have made if you are working as an accountant at a particular firm so that's business number four that you can get into online today business number five is to get into ride sharing apps if you already have a vehicle you can either become an uber driver or a bolt driver in the country we also have in driver and i've done a video on how to get into this taxi business so the way to actually do this business with the purpose of this video is that if you are going to work then you actually place your driver mode on and you are looking for clients who are going in the same direction that you would be going so for instance if you're going from your home towards the cbd you can put your app on and you'll probably find someone who's looking for a cab from around the area and is actually going to the cbd that can be your customer what you are actually doing in this case is you would have still spent money on your fuel but now that you have a client on board you actually save in this way then when it is time to leave the office you actually put it on again and you do a few hours until around 9 or 10 p.m that's when you now go home and you have actually made a side income for yourself additionally this particular business would work really well if you can be able to take people to the airport early in the morning so this may be 3 or 4 a.m if you are on at that particular time then you'll probably find you are among the very few that are on at this time this can also lead to jobs where people are calling you directly to offer this service because they have already ridden with you before they actually want you to take them to a particular place yourself so this is a good side income for you outside of your working hours outside of your nine to five so you can actually make some really good money on the side the thing with these businesses is that most of them are online and they won't require a lot of money to set up if you want to learn about the businesses that you can be able to start with twenty thousand shillings then that's the video that's showing up here and if you want other business ideas there's a playlist that is showing up on my right and i'll see you in the next one